road trip continues. Heading to Bonneville for Speed Week. Welcome to part two of our summer road trip tour. Uh, yesterday we left Hot Rodorama in Pendleton, Oregon, and we are currently on our way to Bonneville Salt Flats in Wendover, Utah. Right now we are in Ontario, Oregon, uh, just getting a couple trailer tires mounted. We blew a tire last night. So once we get that figured out, then, uh, then yeah, we're gonna be back on the road, heading towards Speed Week. When we left, I had two questionable tires on the back axle of the trailer. I knew they were really old. I knew I was pushing my luck. And yeah, that one didn't make it. So get a new, new tires all mounted up, ready to rock and roll. We're currently hanging out in Boise right now. From Pendleton to Wendover is only like a seven hour drive and we have five days to do it, which means we have a lot of time to kill, which is kind of neat because we can actually like stop at all the cool places that you see along the way and check them out, which I've never done before. So here's Boise, it's hot. at L, L Classic Auto in Idaho where they have 10,000 cars on 160 acres. For you roadkill fans, this is where the T37 Pontiac came from. Actually, there's a roadkill car sitting out front right now. Found this 71 Ford. Pickup. I'm looking for a sport bumper for the back of my 72. No luck on this one. Shannon found a Comet. Shannon is also looking for a back bumper because hers has a kerchoink in it. This one also has a kerchoink in it and somebody sanded it. This little two-door Falcon is cool. There's another Comet back there. A 60 Comet, first year of the Comet.
Here's one for my friend Don. He's got a 64 Galaxy four-door. There's l and &L Classic Auto. What a cool place. We spent probably an hour, hour and a half, and hardly saw a glimpse of what's all there. Found a couple parts that Shannon could use for her Comet, and I found a Model A body, but unfortunately we weren't able to agree on a, on a price for them, so they're still here for the next person. We're gonna head into Twin Falls now and find something neat. Behind me right now is the Snake River Canyon jump site from when Evil Knievel attempted to jump the canyon. Wow! What kind of nutter would attempt to jump this? That's insane. Almost on the, the Idaho Nevada border, right by Jackpot Nevada. Uh, so far, everything's working really good. For those that have never watched any of the videos before and no idea what we're doing, this is my 1972 Ford Crew Cab Dually. It is our like tow hauler, our, our tow truck. Uh, we're pulling a 24 foot enclosed car hauler right now with uh, my Model A Roadster in the back. This truck has been like a, a five-year kind of just picking away at a project with the intention of building like the ultimate car hauler out of it. Uh, it's lowered seven inches. The entire chassis has been back half with a 96 Ford F450 rear clip so that it can handle all the weight. It's got a Sterling 10 and a quarter rear end. Uh, we just finished doing an engine swap on it. It's got a 12 valve Cummins in it now with a 47 RH transmission. Uh, it's currently getting, at its best on this trip, it's got 15.3 miles per gallon. At its worst, it's got 11 miles per gallon, which is still more than double the miles per gallon of what it had when it still had the 390 FE in it. Uh, it's got a classic auto air air conditioning system in it, which has been essential on this trip, especially like when we were going through Pendleton and that, it was 117 degrees there. So... That's been saving us on this. It's going right now. So yeah, so far everything is going really good. We're only a couple hours away from Bonneville.
We're just leaving Wells, Nevada. We got about an hour to go and we're at the Bonneville Salt Flats. Well, we made it to Bonneville Salt Flats last night. Uh, it's still a day, it doesn't actually start, like deck starts tomorrow. So there wasn't a lot going on today. So we took the day off, we just dropped the trailer here and took the day off and went into Salt Lake City. Shannon wanted to do some antique shopping. Now it's Wednesday evening and we're back and we're just kind of getting everything set up, getting our camp situated. So tomorrow is when the action starts. Good morning from the Bend in the Road at Bonneville Speedway. We've breakfast, we've coffeed, let's head out onto the salt and see what's happening. Hey, here we are at like ground zero for speed week. Behind us over here, we've got tech set up. Um, there's a couple vendors here. We got some hats, sunglasses. I think that's a food truck there. One of the really cool things about Bonneville is it is, it's like the last real form of grassroots motorsports. There's no corporate stuff here. It's not like NASCAR or NHRA where there's big vendors everywhere, big corporate stuff. This is just real people doing real things. It's amazing. Uh, so yeah, tech is behind us here. We're gonna wander around, check that out. Everything's very chill and relaxed here. Nobody gets upset. Uh, we're here, we're supposed to be pit crewing with uh, our friend Richard, who's not even here yet. And when we got to the gate, they were just like, oh yeah, whenever, when he gets in, just come back in and check in, go have fun, go explore. So this place is, it's so cool. It's so relaxed. I love it here. Hey, we found Lucky's Hot Rods with Piero from Mad Fabricators. Lucky's over there. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever watched the Storm in Bonneville kind of mini series on YouTube that Piero filmed, but great little documentary on building this car. It's all right. 
it's all right. <laughs> This is Richard Norton and Steve Geikus, hometown heroes from Victoria, and this is their record-holding Isuzu pickup. Record-breaking, record-breaking, as Richard just corrected me. It says record holder on the side. Another Model A Roadster. I think it's so cool. That's that's how they started in 1949 when they were racing here. And this is what the Model A Roadster has evolved into for land speed racing. Much just spent the rest of the day helping Richard and Steve get set up and ready for tech. They're going to tech tomorrow morning. Now we're heading back into Wendover to the, the Nugget. That's where all the hot rods hang out in the evening. There's actually a big show there Saturday night. I think they have a big car show there. So our other friend Dave Hargraves from Victoria, he's in, just got into town so we're going to go meet him and have some dinner.
Good morning. It is Friday and we're just kind of getting our day started here. In the last video, someone asked for a little trailer tour to see what our, our camp setup is like. It's not amazing, but it works. So we've got uh, Shannon's just finishing up some breakfast dishes here. I'm inside making another pot of coffee. We've got some delicious stick in the mud coffee here. Uh, there's not much up here. We've got just some cupboards and stuff with dishes and that in them. Over here, we've got a little inverter set up for some power uh, just to run. And we've got some lights and stuff in here. Let me find a switch here. There we go. Lights. Yeah. There is lights that go up in here as well, operated on a switch there. But they're a little low when we're hitting our heads, so they're gone. Put them in at night if we need them. Got just like a little hangout area here. Up top, we've got the bed. And the Roadster actually parks underneath the bed when it's in the, in the trailer, the grill shells, like about right here. So that's basically how we've been living for the last week and a half out on the road. We're just waiting for our friend Dave Hargraves to get here. This is his first trip to Speed Week. He's got a really cool, I can't remember if it's a 33 or a 34 uh, Ford Coupe. It's been in a few previous videos, but he's coming down, he's gonna meet us here, and then we're gonna head out on the salt. wandering around in the tech lineup right now it's kind of cool because you can see a lot of cars in one area
So what we're looking at right now is the world's fastest wheel-powered car. Wheel-powered meaning the wheels still actually propel the car rather than like a jet-powered car. This car has gone 470 miles per hour. This is Speed Demon, one of George Petit's cars. This is the world's fastest piston powered car. It's so cool here, they're just like, yeah, come on in, come check it out. This isn't good. Well, today is race day. Uh, yesterday was beautiful out. Then in the evening, it kind of started getting a little bit dark. And then this morning, we woke up to this. So. Everything's kind of postponed right now. They're just trying to see what's going on. It's sure mucky out here. Just kind of hanging out, making some breakfast, drinking coffee, watching everybody try to get cars unstuck. We don't have anywhere to be right now, so it's not so bad. They're doing it. Everybody seems to be having fun and in good spirits still. But we have eggs.
So obviously there's no racing happening today. So we decided to come check out the Wendover Air Base, which I've been here many times before. It's really cool. It's World War II Air Base. Hey. Hey. I don't know how high up we are, but pretty high and you can see the ground. We're right back out at the salt flats now, but instead of going racing, we're going up to Danger Cave. Hey everybody, this is Dave. You remember in the last video I said, hey, if you see us out at the salt, come and say hi. Well, Dave saw us and he came and said hi. Yeah. What do you think of the lake? It sucks. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep, our cars are out there. Yeah. In the water. Yeah, they run some cool stuff. They got a belly tank with a turbo, turbocharged Arden and then a Model A with a four banger. Yeah. With a Volvo head on it, so it had a V8. it's got a V8 in it right now. We were going to run both classes, two classes. So hopefully we get to see them. Yeah. Hopefully this dries up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's a <laughs> lot of water. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for saying hi, Dave. Very cool, man. Very cool. So we tried to move my Roadster out of the mud and it wouldn't start and found out the coil has a crack in it. You can actually see the spark going all the way up the side. So Shannon duct taped it all up, but it's still not working. So I'm currently just walking around trying to find somebody if they have a spare coil. There's only one part store in town and they're closed. We might go to the Nugget next and see if anyone there has one. We got a spare coil from Ben in the 575 car. So the, another rainstorm came through at the Nugget. So now we're at the black and white bar, which is like a, a Bonneville Speed Week specific, kind of like little hidden gem. So that's where we're hanging out. Shannon's about to sign the board.
we just got back from town and another storm went through. Tore the awning right off the trailer. Smashed the windshield on the roadster. Bummer, I guess I'll have to chop the top some more. What a lame Bonneville. Grr smash. So the first night we were here, we left the awning up and the wind was blowing like crazy. So then last night we took the awning down and the car got completely drenched. And then today, we tonight when we left to go in the town, it was beautiful out. So we didn't even think about the awning and then yeah, a huge storm rolled through. And now my windshield's bent. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and we're in Jackpot, Nevada right now, no longer at Speed Week. Uh, last night while we were hanging out at the Black and White Bar, uh, our friend Jeff White is all like, hey, you know, there's nitro front engine dragsters racing in Boise tomorrow, we should go. So since the salt is closed, in fact, they actually, they canceled Speed Week, it's, it's done now. So we decided to go check out the drag races for the day. Cause we can't get on the salt right now anyways to pick our stuff up. So yeah, we're gonna go see some, some nitro cars and head back to Bonneville later this evening. We're all just road tripping in Richard Suburban because my truck, I don't know if it will even get out right now because it's so mucky in there. But the Suburban's nice, it's nice not to drive for a while. We got back from Boise late last night, so now we're uh, we're gonna head out on the salt here right away and pick up the truck and pack up the pits and everything. See what everything looks like out here. It's a bend in the road. It's dried up quite a bit, but it's still uh, still pretty mucky. The dumpster, garbage dumpster out here, is just full of broken tents and awnings and easy ups. That was quite the windstorm we had.
The water's considerably more shallow here in the pits, but it's, it's still not good. day to go for a swim. Okay, now that Richard and Steve's truck is loaded up and out of the pits, we can focus on this mess now. We still have to change the coil. When we came back from the nugget, when we got the coil, we, that's when we came back to the smashed awning and the smashed windshield and everything was flooded. And we we're just like, you know what? Screw it, we'll just deal with all this stuff later. So that later is now. So we gotta get rid of our smashed awning. Gotta get the car running. I'd like to take it down to the truck stop at the end of the road and kind of clean it up a bit before loading it. There's the, the windshield carnage. It's got a pretty good bow in it, but we can probably fix it. Get a, oh, it's bowed this way too. Straighten it out, put some new glass in it. It'll be fine. The new coil works. Okay, well that concludes Bonneville Speed Week 2022. Uh, we're pretty much done here. We're just getting ready to hit the road, but uh, we're not done with this series yet because we have one more stop to make before we're going home. Uh, we're leaving Wendover right now and we are heading to Make It Custom in Mission, BC. Because I, so I bought a car a couple weeks ago, a 32 Ford, and it came from London, Ontario, just north of Detroit. So I got a shipping company to send it out because it was cheaper than if we drove to get it ourselves. But he was going to drop it off while we were here. So I called Carl and he said, yeah, no problem. Drop it off at, at my place. So we're heading there now to go get it. So stay tuned for the next video to see how that goes. Make sure you check out the website, lgspeedcustom.com to get yourself a LG Speed and Custom shirt uh, or as well as we got other parts and stuff as well. Uh, make sure to check out thecavaleros.com. All the music in this video was done by Victoria Surf Band, The Cavaleros. So go check them out as well. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.